Never mind. We're going friends to the end. Scenario mission. Check to see if Liam is okay. Yeah, that'll probably be a little easy to uh, complete. David Quebec Waters. And a punk rock girl. <laughs> a girl named David. Nice. <laughs> Proficiency. Background in golf? Okay, this is... This is a character. It's Quebec. Do I have a golf golf thing on me? No, I do have drugs, though. So. <laughs> what a start. <laughs> you start out with combat boots, a corset, and some marijuana. <laughs> oh, we've got a melee Let's go right off the bat. Let's um, switch our combat style. Um, handgun skill. That's interesting, too. Some survival, applied science tailoring. No, no food handling at all. Uh, like, absolutely none. Good bit of athletics. Um, so, I need to go see what's wrong with Liam over here. Hello, Liam. Liam, your old friend, stares at you with blank, confused eyes. He's standing over a freshly mangled corpse. A smoking shotgun at his feet. Holy shit, dude. He blinks. Is this about Chris? If you're here to kill me, just get it over with, man. I don't I don't know what the fuck is happening, but I can't take you out too. Uh get a hold of yourself, my guy. Liam Jester's at the I'm not doing a voice anymore. Liam Jester's at the body. Chris, you know Chris. You know Chris! Chris, you know Chris. You've known Chris for years. We all agreed to meet up here. Shit got bad, remember? Liam shot zombified man. <laughs> well shit, I'm guessing my story sounds like a lot of bullshit then. Um, hmm, what the hell are we gonna do? Holy shit. Pull yourself together, man. Or I believe you. Ah, uh, I don't think this matters too much. Um, good to hear that. Look, I'm sure we should be questioning you and making sure you're not gonna attack me with an axe or something, but I just can't anymore. Come on, let's get Chris out of here and then figure out what to do next. Sure thing. Sure thing, buddy. Friend. You mentioned an axe. Is there an axe I can have? There's a pair of hiking boots. And an axe! <gasps> oh, we've got an axe. Ha 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 ha. Where's this mysterious corpse? Oh, pulped corpse of a hu human. You already smashed the corpse? Uh, I guess let's get the corpse out of here. They agreed we'd do that. Uh, oh. Oh, that was... Oh. Liam, this cabin, I should have checked the map. Um, this cabin is not in a safe place. This cabin isn't even outside the city. You built your, your woodsy cabin in the city. And there's already, okay. Um, this is not very punk rock. This is not very punk rock at all, Liam. Um... Liam, are you even armed right now? You are completely unarmed. I'm on my own. Okay, Liam. Um, I guess... Yep, I see him. I see the runner. Oh, that's so many zombies. Oh, no, oh, I forgot the wood axe is overpowered, right? Axes are the superior weapon in all cases. Still get that one other zombie coming at us. Let's just wait here, actually. Wait for the zombie to close a little. Oh, there's more of them that have seen me now. Hmm. Can we take all of these? Right now we have the tension of three. I don't want to ruin the car. <sighs> it's attacking the car. I'm over here. I'm over here. Don't ruin my car. You asshole. Oh my gosh. Liam, you're going to kill yourself. Liam. Oh my god. This is not going well. Liam, are you- oh god. Oh, is Liam at least wearing- no, he still- he still doesn't have a weapon? He's got a stick? He's wielding a multi-tool! Well, Liam! This is such a disaster. <laughs> Liam, save your stamina. <laughs> I know you hate them. No, don't rush in. You're wielding a multi-tool. Oh, do I still have the sight of more? Yeah, that zombie sees me. Is that another cabin? Another in-city cabin? 
notes Liam, yeah. <sighs> oh my gosh. Alright, well let's um see if we can lure this zombie a bit closer before we close. And Liam rushes in. His bloodlust overcoming any sense of self-preservation. I think we need to leave before Liam kills himself. Cocaine! Ah, uh, yeah. Goes in my pocket. Oh. Now this is quite nice. No extra zombies peeking on us. Liam, you don't know how to drive either. Actually, do you know how to drive? Um. Actually, wait. How injured are you? You're infected. Liam, I don't even know what to say to you. 12 gauge, ooh, good bit of shotgun ammo. Is that the firewood shelf? It is. First aid kit, um, it has antiseptic. Liam, get over here. I need to treat your boo-boos, Liam. Um, examine wounds. Can I not? Um, I don't really use very many NPC companions. They always die on me. Antiseptic. Oh, I get to actually see his health numbers. That's quite convenient. I think that worked. It did. Cool, cool, cool. You're all better, Liam. No complaining. Um, food. Food. We need to get as much useful stuff in our car before we get out of here. And then we can figure out <laughs> what we even want to do. What our goals are. We just have to get out of here. Um, ooh, compound hunting bow, Fletcher's friend, and the survivor's map. Let's actually use that map real quick. It added nothing. Oh, it's too dark to read, of course. Okay. A travel pack. Hiking pack used for short trips. Do I have anything approximating a backpack right now? I'm wearing a trench coat! Oh my gosh. Is that what it means to be punk? Hmm... What am I actually wearing? Leather corset, what's the encumbrance of seven? Good protection. Hmm. Black stockings, combat boots, dark earrings, gloves, socks, boxer shorts. White skirt and trench coat. You know, I'm kinda loath to ruin the what is clearly what is clearly a very put together look. Even if it will provide better protection. <laughs> Plus, the whole point of an apocalypse, if you're a punk, is to finally, like, be able to do whatever you want. So why would you then start... <laughs> why would you then start obeying the rules of fashion? Oh, hey, Liam, you just... Did you just teleport? I feel like he's teleporting. He's still wielding a multi-tool. Liam. <laughs> Liam, we can get you better, I promise. Mm -hmm. Get rid of you and... Oh, right, the map. Oh, wow. Some small towns to the south. Kittery, that's a weird name for a town. And... <laughs> oh, it's a town. <laughs> it's a Franken town. Wow. grocery store. You just marked all the grocery stores. You didn't mark down the name of the town, but you marked down all the grocery stores. You know, sometimes the map generation is a little strange. Um, oh, right, the gun. Aha! M5A1. Or M4A whatever. Bunch of letters and numbers. I'm not a handgun nut. I don't know how this works. So long, Chris. Oh, right, Liam, we need to get you a, uh, a thingamajigger, a weapon. Don't worry, buddy, I got you covered. <laughs> a pointy stick. Okay, maybe maybe that's a little, little, that's not quite right. Um, is that really all I can get for him? Nothing better? What's your strength like, buddy? Um, let me size you up. Oh, you're pretty strong. Okay, yeah, this will this this should work for you then. Hopefully, this this doesn't attract too many zombies. Three pipes, um, chunk of steel, no pipe fittings. 
I think I need some pipe fittings for what I'm trying to do. Excuse me, buddy. Don't mind me. Just smashing up your cabin. I'm sure you don't mind. Why did we decide to go to a cabin that's in the middle of the city? Why was this like the agreed survival location? It's in, it's in like such a populated area. It's right next to a huge urban city block. It's got houses, grocery stores, and we're literally surrounded by hordes. <laughs> You know, this will be this will be our current target. We'll try to get to the orchard. It's a better place than this for sure. Let's see, a pipe staff or a mace. Mm. Hey, buddy, I've got a gift for you. I mean, it's I'm gonna call it a trade, but you know. Um, I'm also going to give you a stick for free, because I'm just that nice, so you don't have to wield that multi-tool. Oh. You're still wielding the multi-tool. Can you maybe not? Can you perchance... Uh, <laughs> but maybe, Liam, could you... Could you wield the mace I just made for you? Oh, I can learn things from you. Ooh. I want you to use this item. Do I have to be holding it for you, me to tell you to use it? Oh my gosh. Change your martial arts style to brawling. Wow, he was just... <sighs> You're kind of useless, Liam. Do you need Quebec to tell you what to do? Thanks, I'll wield that now. Yay! I'm proud of you, Liam. Is there a clap button? <laughs> Is there... Can I clap for you? Clap. Oh, I, I can shout, but that's not the same. Oh, actually, before we go, Liam, can you teach me how to drive, maybe? Do you have the driving proficiency? You drove a car here, so if you don't, I'll actually be pretty worried. Yeah, you've got the driving proficiency. Can you teach that to me? Is that a thing you're capable of? I've never been able to afford a car. You know how it is. Um, there's something I want you to do. Can you host the training seminar? Wow. What's your deal, Liam? Come on, let me drive your stupid car. <laughs> you won't tell me what these pedals do. I guess I'll just figure it out myself. <sighs> Bet it can't be that hard. I already got zombies following us. Oh my gosh, yep. Yeah, that's the old don't know how to drive thing. Okay, we need to get it fast push through this little horde. Is that a firefighter? Okay, we're gonna hit a tree if I don't do something. Hey! Okay, that one went pretty well. Um, and we're heading south to the orchard. Okay, you know, that makes the orchard a bit of a less appealing location to visit. just had a sudden revelation. I think we're gonna go somewhere else. But where? You know, if the woods allow it, we could try to head over here. It seems like a good place. It's a road endpoint. Might be something snazzy. We could also just keep heading south. This seems like a small town. We could maybe set up a base along the outside of and loot for a bit. We don't really have any missions. Okay, we're going too fast. We're going too fast. Please stop. We're fine. I had some flashbacks <laughs> for a brief moment there. You know, Liam, this would be much easier if you just taught me how to drive. I know you're shy, but you know, maybe you could get over that to make our life easier. Le oh my gosh, we're gone. <laughs> Note to self, don't zoom in while driving. It does weird things. This would be much easier if you taught me how to drive, Liam. Oh, ooh. Okay, this is actually quite a boom. We've got two radio towers nearby. Hopefully we can get really good lay of the land and some binoculars from them. Uh, there's also an evac shelter, but I'm not confident there's not gonna be zombies all in it. All 
Alright, Liam. Ready to get out of the car. Actually provide something to our impromptu team. Some protein rations, food for Liam. Oh, that's right, we can get access to the, uh... <laughs> or not. <laughs> that's a bit of a trek. And it looks like there's a lot of water involved, too. You know, that might be a long, long, long term problem to sort through. Can we go in? Oh, it's unlocked. Excellent. Roof alcohol. A celebration for surviving. Whoop, whoop. Oh, that was a horrible idea. I just realized I have to drive. <laughs> He did teleport. I swear he teleported. He just teleported. Are you going to close your door, Liam? No. It's like a child. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking. I'm driving drunk. <laughs> it's, it's only 8 in the morning, and I've uh, already indulged quite a bit in some... Less than, uh, should I be driving and then turn the car off? I mean, you can come if you want, Liam. There's not going to be much up here for you. And we got our binoculars and the map. Let's activate that real quick. Didn't you used to be able to tell exactly what was where? Is that a new change? I'm playing on a newish version. Or the release I'm on is only like six or seven hours old. That's a that's an interesting place for a cabin. <laughs> right next to a sewage treatment center. I mean I won't judge, but interesting. Okay, this is really interesting. The map works way differently. Or is it just foggy? No? The weather's just changed. Wow, okay. Maps just became way more useful. That's really interesting. All I know is that there's a building here now. Huh. Oh, hey, Liam. You climbed that ladder for nothing, I want you to know. Let's see what those weird not-a-cabin buildings are. Let's see what this is over here, and then we'll head up to this next tower. A miniature railway park? Oh, there's zombies here, though. A lot of zombies. I mean, we can, uh, there's a lot of zombie children here, though. Ah, what the hey. Alright, Liam. Get ready to prove your worth. Uh, I hope we don't die. It'll be fine. Oh, I just realized I don't know how to actually use a gun. We'll aim for you first. It looks like only a grazing hit will be enough to finish him off. Nah, you stayed in the way. His problem, not mine. Watch out, Liam. I'm not very good with this yet. Oh my gosh, never mind. You're effective, Liam. Can you deal with the children for me? That sounds a bit ominous. What? What is all of- I see all that yellow down there to my- Oh my gosh! It says ignoring, but why are they all moving towards me? <laughs> uh-huh. If we move, are they gonna follow us? They're chasing us. Um, hey Liam? We should move very fast for a moment here. Let's see what they do. Are they fighting the zombies? They're in our car. They're just kinda... grouping up over there. I kinda want our car back. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Let's check out the railway, Liam, and let's not make any noise. I don't want the spiders to find us. Who drinks ale at a miniature railway? 
and homemade beer are the par what are the parents up to? <laughs> what do they do while the kids <laughs> is this <laughs> is this what they're up to while all the kids are out having fun? I mean I can see a version of reality where that's true. I don't know if I want to believe it though. They're just hanging out in the car. <sighs> Why are they doing that? A cell phone, I'll take the battery. I don't see the the miniature train. Oh, there it is. Is that what I think it is? Why is it made of dolls? <laughs> Excuse me? Wait, what? There's just a bunch of dolls. Is this a trolley problem? <laughs> okay. Um All right, let's see. It's very important to pay attention to your knowledge of ethics, right? So, would you pull the lever? There's one dolly on the track, and you could save it by pulling the lever. Um, uh, I don't know what that actually did. I don't know how the leather, the lever, the leather, <laughs> the lever affected it. Someone was just doing the trolley problem. That's uh, that's pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. You know, this hasn't been quite what I envisioned, and we lost our car due to a spider infestation. But. You know, we got to see the trolley problem done with dolls on a miniature railway, so I feel like we came out ahead. Like net, we came out ahead. They're still colonizing our car. They're just chilling here. If I smash this, will they hear? I need to be where I can see them so I know. Let's run away, just in case. I'm not taking chances. No. Well, let's actually go over here and see if we can lure them away. Liam, be ready to run. Are you ready to duck, Liam? Nah, just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. We're friends. Yep, and now they're all running over. So now we run away. There's still one in the car. <sighs> I don't want to fight... The giant spiders. I don't want to have anything to do with the giant spiders. I don't like them. I don't like the giant spiders. <gasps> Valentine's Day cards. Do not be afraid. <laughs> it's me. Oh my gosh, a person stepping out of the forest. You know, that's not an amazing Valentine's Day card. Can I not uh, interact with this? Can I... Can I break in? Ooh. Oh, I don't need... <laughs> that's not candy. I thought it was rock candy, but it turns out it was only glass. That would be a silly doctor's visit. Okay. So the big concern is just that one spider that's no longer in our car. Oh, did I just get myself all hyped for nothing? It left the car. Will it come to kill me now that I'm here? No. Ooh, they killed a lot of zombies. I think we just run away. Be ready, Liam. Take no chances. He teleported again, the scoundrel. Um, and now we boot up the car, we go in full reverse, and we <laughs> don't look back. Ugh. Uh, let's go literally anywhere else. Yeah, they're all chasing us now. Wow, okay. They're ambush predators. That's kind of terrifying, actually. Why am I in so much pain? Why? What is hurting me? I'm just in pain. Uh, you know, that's overkill. Take an aspirin. Uh, we crashed into a pine tree. Mm. What do we want to do? Mm. Well, we're a punk rocker. So I feel like, specifically, we, 
I guess we should we should work on creating the ultimate uh, ultimate music venue. Um, so the question is, what would that be? But in the super short term, we probably actually need a place to sleep, don't we? It's what? It's only it's only 10 a.m. It's been a very eventful morning. Um, I guess we will head west. No, brain east. We're gonna head east. We'll see what this is. I bet money this is a rural church of some description. Although, once again, this is some very creative road building. I mean, chef's kiss to the urban planners here. And the traffic engineers, you really outdid yourselves there. I can only imagine the extra money they were trying to use up in the budget. Some cucumber sandwiches. Photograph. Ragged, unclear, and altogether hurriedly developed, this photograph appears to depict the gloomy interior of what was once a living room, with window blinds thickly drawn and boards nailing down any cracks through which external observation could be possible. The entire space looks alive. Some manner of spongy vegetation coats its insides, and thick tendrils and quivering mounds of mold subsume most of the furniture. Reclined within the misshapen gray... Wait. Reclined within the misshapen gray lump that might have been a sofa, a pale-skinned woman lounges, her spine arched, head thrown back, and a look of rapturous ecstasy visible on the parts of her face not caked by the fungus that's extending in wet stalks from her open mouth. Smiling contentedly, with dainty tendrils spreading across her face, entwining in her hair and burrowing into the ruptured sockets where her eyes used to reside, the woman is embracing a bulging cocoon of gray resting in her lap. Small bits of fur peeking through the cracks in the fungal shell. In bold and crude calligraphy, a text has been scrawled on the back of the image. Do not be afraid, for our beauty is all-encompassing and rests beyond your sight. Do not be afraid, for we speak the word of blissful hegemony. Do not be afraid, for this is our mission, and you will be part of it. Yeah, let's get moving. You know, this is why you don't read the you don't read the world building in CDD, eh? What you don't know can't hurt you. <laughs> or more specifically, you won't know what's going to hurt you later. What is this? Is this a sugar house? No. This looks like it could get nasty. It's boarded up, so either there's a survivor in here, or it's going to be absolutely full of zombies. Be ready, Liam. It looks like it's just an empty shelter. Did you just close- <sighs> He's such a problem child. Down we go. Do I have a headlamp? I have no headlamp. That is an oversight. Hello? What's up, dude? Oh, you're not one of them. Those shamblers, I mean. Don't cause trouble. Uh, apparently I'm not very convincing. Uh, what are you doing down here? Hiding out here. This place is pretty trashed, my guy. Do you have any jobs? Oh, you're a cattail person. No, no. <laughs> not... <sighs> You know, we could just keep that duffel bag. Yeah, I'll totally, I'll totally get those cattails for you, friend, buddy, pal. Coming right up. You just gotta be a bit patient. Um, and, uh, yeah. Ooh, an electric lantern. That's nice. What are you? You're a tower. That might be another radio tower. That'd be pretty sweet. What are you, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. We'll get that. We'll get that mission done. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. What was your name again? Abraham something? Or something Abraham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, friend. We'll, we'll, we'll do that for you. Maybe we should have killed him. Fire lookout tower. That's new. Maybe we can get a fire axe. Oh, 
Oops, slow down. <laughs> slow, okay. Ooh, there's an American flag and everything. All right, Liam, unload. Why did you go out the trunk? I'm not gonna ask. That's a lot of clean water. Is it clean? It's just water, okay. Here we've got jerry can engine. <gasps> Ooh, but which is better? We've got new axes, new axes, a pair of welding gloves. <laughs> can I activate this? <laughs> Excellent. That is staying in the pocket forever. Three throwable fire extinguishers. Are those like foam grenades? A fire extinguisher in grenade form, while not as effective as a regular extinguisher, you can use it at a farther distance. Just throw it into the flames. Okay. I will totally do that at some point. Ah, now we're a couple of dangerous looking individuals, ain't we? That's what I thought. Ah! You're late, Liam. Oh my gosh. Are we doing- we're doing 45 damage for swing? We are a menace. Where'd the zombie go though? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> There's blood all over the place. And that's more or less all. So this is a potential sleeping place for sure. And we've also just got a whole lot more vision. Hmm. That is a big town. Oh, this is another, another mutant pranking town. Wauburn, Voluntown, and Herman. Hmm. We're north of the rural church, which is another potential sleeping spot. Honestly, this is a good location right here. We've got the fire tower and the uh, rural house all right next to each other. It actually looks like it'll be really difficult to get a car from this road to this road, which eh, could be better, could be worse. Liam, did you just... He's like a child. He is like a child. Lord help me. Is he older than me? I need to know. Liam just wants to help. Liam, don't try to ingratiate yourself with me. He's older than me by like five years. <sighs> Liam. Actually, wait, while we're here, um. Uh, dispenser dump water. Pour it into my plastic cherry can, please. Thank you. And then we will put that into the car. But, you know, you could sit in this very blatantly open seat right next to me. You don't have to sit in the back seat, you know? If you want to be part of, like... There's not even, like, the excuse of it being group dynamics. Why are you so scared of me? What's your deal? This is your car. Such a weirdo. Let's see. Street lethal, unarmed urban combat. Wow. Much more medical supplies. We will take the, uh, like, a lot of medical supplies. Goodness. You know, this is another great thing the fire axe is good for. Aggressive interest entrances. Okay. So we've definitely got a, a sleeping space secured. For sure. The question is, do we want to settle down? I don't think we do. I think we want to keep moving for a bit. We've barely gone anywhere. Um, I think in the future, I'd love to get over here, but the only way to this like area is uh, with a car, that is, is to drive through the middle of um, Brownville. And uh, I don't want to... <laughs> 
I'm still hung up on the fact that they built a cabin in the middle of the city, but <laughs> and then and then thought they could escape the zombie apocalypse there. And that's a little bit it's interesting decisions all around. But there's no real way to get to a new area on a car. Now that's strange. And I don't think that's right. I feel like there's probably a trailhead here or something. There's got to be something over here too. I could, like, I've got an axe. I could chop maybe a way for the car through if I'm dedicated. It looks like a car could almost fit. Except for right there. Spot right here. I'd have to lose a couple trees. You could turn right here. Chop down these couple, and then we could be home free. Is that a sewage treatment plant? It is. Okay. So I think that'll be the call, is to chop a way out for the car so we can get closer to the Frankentown and then maybe head south and even cross the river down south here. And at the same time, we can move closer to the evacuee center if we're interested in going that way. Hmm. I don't really know. It's a good question. But for now, I think I'll just head back to the car and uh, unload all the goodies I've collected. Oh wait, can I emote? <laughs> it pops up in the chat. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. All right, let's finish unloading. Uh, yeah, now the only question is what to do with the rest of the day. Because I don't... Actually, I guess we could get cracking on cutting down a bunch of trees. Are you going to help Liam, or are you just going to watch? Huh? Also, why is my encumbrance so high? Happy but in pain. Why are we in pain? We could just try learning to drive. Uh... Can I make that turn? This is probably doable. I'm gonna ask Liam to teach me how to drive again. Can you host a training seminar? Oh. <sighs> Whatever. Can I use my fire axe to chop down a tree? Hey! Excellent. Okay. That's not bad at all. It also probably gets me some um, exercise. How long does it take? Not too long. It only takes about 15 minutes to chop a tree. Goodness. Quebec is good with an axe. Getting closer. And I think, just like that, we've managed to, well, I think I could augment it a little bit to compensate for uh, Quebec's poor driving skills. Now, moment of truth, will it fit? Um, actually, for the moment. Did you just climb? <sighs> cool. Liam is a, Liam is a fun individual. And then it just fits. We won't, we, oh, we do collide with everything. Never mind, there's like a whole bunch more work that has to happen.
Yeah, it takes a long time. Well, alright. Guess I'll get to work. I think that's uh, enough work for today. So we need to, we're very weary apparently. Oh, the car's over there, rain. Let's do that. Close the door on Liam, cause he kinda deserves it. I'm not gonna give him a blanket, cause he doesn't deserve a blanket. And let's do a little bit of reading. Actually, safety first. Um, then read. Oh, not read. Do a little practice. We're apparently too weary to learn this. Yeah, that's probably good. Mm -hmm. And I think that's actually, I think the end of the day is a good place to, good place to leave it. Let's finish the day out by, um, where's the button? There it is. Also, I learned, I learned a new thing. I learned a new trick. Um, where can I edit? Aha! Uh, dear... Journey. Liam. And I think that's a good, that's a good, that's a good, good time to end it. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Bye. Liam, what are you doing? Why are you crouched in the trunk? <laughs> Do you have a reason? You just like it in there? Is that your spot?